give you all the highest praise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we thank you because yes, you are Lord. all we need. Hallelujah. If we have you, we have everything else. Hallelujah. Your, your word says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Everything else yeah. will be added unto us. Yes, so we seek after you. We draw unto you with our hearts. Yes, all we need is you. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for tonight. Hallelujah. Even as we go into the mysteries of your word. But we ask, O oh God, that you open up revelations unto us this evening. Hallelujah. Speak expressly to us on your table this evening. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Child of God, God bless you so much. We want to thank you. We want to appreciate you for the time you've taken out this evening to join us on this uh, broadcast um, as we have service online, which is our new normal for now. Um, we, we thank God that you have data and you have a device that you can use to listen to this. These few moments that we are here together, maximize it, get something for your spirit, get something for your life, and I'm sure your future is always brighter than your past. So this evening, get ready as we share the word of God together. Um, Dickin Kinsley Igbedi. Thank you, sir. It's our pleasure having you here, Dickin <laughs> <laughs> Choya. <laughs> if you know that name, then you know. <laughs> From the roots, the foundation, the foundation. Eichoya. Hallelujah. What's the meaning of Eichoya? <laughs> it's God that takes away the pain. It's God that takes it's away the pain. pain. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Maybe that should be the title of the, of the discussion this night. The God that takes it away pain. <laughs> ah. <laughs> um, Kome, Kes David, yeah, yeah. good to have you this evening. Yes. I don't know your middle name. I would have loved to call you with that. <laughs> Onwa. This evening. Onwa, <laughs> Onwa is the surname. Onwa is the surname. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Actually, my middle name is Kesiena. Kesiena. Yeah. Yes. Which, what was your other name? Okay, Kome. that's Kome. Yes, okay, that's Kome, Kesiena. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, I, know. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. So you don't have English name? No, I don't. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah. <laughs> All right, praise God. Hallelujah. This evening, I want us to discuss on the relationship between God and man. Awesome. Awesome. Now, it's a topic that cannot be exhausted um, in one conversation, the relationship between God and man. Because you see this book, this Bible, has a lot of that. And after this Bible was written, after all these scrolls were written, the relationship between God and man continues to evolve yeah. mm. and you know, continues mm. to, to reflect the heart of God. Mm -hmm. And there is no knowledge on earth that can know all of God. Correct. So until we know all of God, we cannot know all of God for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we only can see in part. Yeah, and right. we can only understand in part of God that we understand. Yeah. But this evening, we're going to go back to the foundations. We're going to go back to Genesis. Awesome. And trace the story up till as much as we can, where our life is. Yeah. Um, last week, Wednesday, we're talking about, why does God love me? Why does God love me? So today, we're going to dig deeper into, why does God have a relationship with me? Okay. It's like you are dating somebody. Why, yeah. why are you even married to your wife? Mm. Why are you dating? Why does God love me? Why does God have a relationship with me? So we'll go to the beginnings yeah. and just to put it in context. Um, just to put, you want to drop your jitter for I'm, some I'm time? Fine. I'm, I'm okay. okay, you're fine, great. Um, um, just to put it in context, um, God began the creation. And before the story of the creation that we'll have was God. Mm. God was the creator that was never created. Okay, yeah. He yes. began the beginning before the beginning began. Yeah. That was the God. Yes. And at a point, he called the, 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 the Trinity, God the Spirit and God the Son, and said, let us make, make man. man. Genesis image. chapter 1, verse 26. Yeah. Let us make, make man now in our image and in our likeness, yes. to be like us. And then there was a purpose for that. And he said, what? Well, to have dominion, yeah. to replenish the earth. Yeah. And, you know, all of that encapsulated in, in the book of Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, and repeated again in verse 28. So that was the initial um, plan, uh, plan yeah. for, go, uh, for man, which God had. And then from there, God now made man physically in Genesis chapter 2. Yeah, correct. Then in Genesis chapter 3, man fell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man fell after the woman who was subsequently created after Adam um, Eve ate of the fruit, gave to her, her husband, and then fell, and they were um, she chased out. They were chased yeah, out. The garden, yeah. As simple as that, they were chased out from the garden. Mm. And then subsequently, up to now, Jesus now came back 
to rescue us. So we have the first Adam and, and the last second. Adam. And, second the, and the second, second Adam. Second and last Adam. Second and the last Adam. Adam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but in between all of that, there's a lot of story. There's a lot of evolution yeah. you know, of man. There's a lot of transition, a lot yes. of the story of how God relates with man. So I'm just going to read um, Genesis chapter 2. Let me just read. I'll read Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 clearly. Okay. Then I'll read two verses or three in Genesis chapter 2. Um, no, verse uh, 3, Genesis chapter 3. Okay. Okay. So Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, I read in your hearing from the King James Version. And God said, let us make man in our image and after our likeness, and let them have one dominion. dominion yeah. um, and um, in verse 28, God blessed them. And God said unto them, Number one, be fruitful. Yeah. Number two, multiply. Yeah. Number three, replenish the earth. Number four, subdue the earth. And number five, have dominion. dominion. So there were five-fold ministry purpose. Yeah. <laughs> As we have five-fold ministry gift in yeah. the book of Ephesians chapter 4, <laughs> verse 11, yeah. we have five-fold um, purpose of yeah. God from the beginning of creation <laughs> for man. For man. Yeah. We go to Genesis chapter 2. Um, Genesis chapter 2, verse 8. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden, and there he put the man he formed. Then verse 21 and verse 22, he made woman. Yeah. Okay? Then man fell in Genesis chapter 3. Yeah. And in verse 9, in verse 8, let's start from verse 8. And they heard the voice of the Lord. No, sorry, let me read verse 7. Verse 7 is my interest. Okay. Verse 7. And the eyes of them, this was after they had eaten, yeah. the eyes of both of them were opened and they knew they were naked. And then, this was what they did. Before Eve came, Adam, he did not know what cloth meant. He was alone. Adam was the only person that had no father, no mother, no biological father, no biological no mother, no siblings, no neighbors, no cousins, no nephews, no colleagues. Adam was just alone by himself. He learned how to be a man by himself. Yeah. And just from his relationship with God. So the only person that he ever knew was God. No family, no friends to talk to. So his own lockdown, eh? <laughs> his own isolation was extraordinary. Nobody, no news, no phone, nothing. He was just alone by himself. And then a woman came. And that was the first thing he ever saw. That was a physical being. And they were, they were naked. I mean, they didn't know that they needed to put on clothes until they committed a sin. Yeah. Then they knew they were naked and they used fig leaves, like plantain leaves, fig yeah. leaves, yeah. To, yeah. to cover yeah. themselves yeah. Um, in verse 7. And they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves apron. Yeah. But when God was chasing them out of the garden, in verse 21, yeah. and unto Adam also and to his wife did the Lord make coats of skin mm. and clothed them. So God saw that even the help that man tried to provide for himself was inferior. Yeah. Mm. And God had to make leather jackets for them, for them from the beginning. To cover their shame. To cover their shame. shame. Because he said, my people will never be ashamed. Shame. Yes. Never be ashamed. So God, from the beginning, even when man sinned, when man fell, and tried to devise means for himself, God had a better plan. Yeah, correct. True. Always has a better plan. Kingsley. Talk to me about God's relationship with man. You know, the verse you just read now just shows that from the very beginning, God just exhibited love towards man in spite of man's flaws and weaknesses. Yes. Yeah. So for God to have gone ahead and say, okay, let me, sh let me sew them, leather jacket, as you said, yes. that just showed the dimension of love towards man. Yes. So and if you, if you look through scripture, you just see God coming back again and again to show love, yes. to show love. Yes. God knows, even, even, before, you know, I tell you, even before God created Adam, God knew man, man was going to fall. Yeah. Yeah, but God still created Adam because I, I tell people, the devil, the devil had messed up back then in heaven, God yes. driven away. And yes. God was trying to, God, apart from God wanting to, like what Reverend Christ told us, he said, uh, apart from God wanting to have a family, God wanted to yes. prove to the devil that man, he can, there can be a man who can make a choice of himself without being coerced to do anything, wow. which the devil could not handle, do you understand? Wow. And man came on the scene and man committed treason, do you yeah. understand? Yeah. And it was so disappointing to imagine... God investing all his everything on man, and man comes back to, <laughs> comes back to bite, bite, bite God and just tell God, come. So over the years, God continually comes back to show man, give man different opportunities before Jesus came on the scene. Yeah. Even the, 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 uh, the, the, the introduction of Jesus 
was born from, born from a place of love. Yes. Because God sending his only son to yes. die in man's Absolutely. place. Yeah. You understand? That was, that's love. As in, you can't, Phenomenal. As in, you, can't, you can't even quantify it, really. Mm. So, you, you see, you see us from the, from, the, from the fall of man to, to, to when Abraham came and God was trying to create a new set of beings. You understand? Okay, I'm going to give you a, form, a new family through you. Abraham, still yet. It was not still enough. And Jesus had to come in the long run. And you, 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 you can just see it's all through scriptures. Hmm. Love, love, love personified from God to man. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Kobe, um, Kinsley mentioned something now. He, he talked about God had a, an intention yeah. before man was even created yeah. to rescue. But he knew man would fall. Yeah. Yes. So he already put in plans in place yeah. to preserve and to protect man and to redeem man, to yeah. get man back. Yeah. Because Jesus was in the equation from the beginning, the beginning yeah, before yeah. the foundation, before, man, before man, Adam was created, yeah, yeah, Jesus was already in the equation to yeah. go and die for man. Yeah. So, was God really disappointed <laughs> when man fell, when he already knew that this man will fall, yeah. but I already have a plan? Yeah, yeah. Wow. It, it, yes. it shows, it shows the, the peculiar relationship man has with God as it were from the beginning. Yeah. And like Deacon rightly said, before Jesus Christ even came, yeah. God has been trying to you know, save man, show the love, yeah. as in the love he has for yeah. man. If you look at um, the story of Noah, Absolutely. about how God saved the, the world, yeah. he always gives man this opportunity to always come back. Even before Jesus was like, maybe like the final, yeah. Jesus is the final bus stop, like, okay, yeah. I know I'm, what, this, this is what I'm going to do. Yeah. But God, he kept, he kept coming back, you know, to save man. In, in, when you talk about the case of Noah, and even the children of Israel, like Moses, you know, Correct. he's always going back to save his people. To make sure that you know he brings them close to himself and show show them that love that he has for them, that to maintain that relationship, even though he cast man out of the Garden of Eden at the beginning, he was always with man as it were. You see how he treated the issue of with Cain. He had with Cain. He made sure that you know he places he placed his mark on Cain and nobody could harm Cain. So even even when we we seem to draw far away from God, even when we try our best, you know, to run away, he is always there making sure you know. As the, the father that he yeah. is, the love, making yeah. sure he guides us and holds us together until when we finally now, you know, go back to meet up with him, which yeah. is what, was why he sent Jesus Christ to Absolutely. us. Absolutely. I, I, think, I, think, I think it's amazing, you know, if you, if you, if you study very well Genesis chapter 3, you know, it's, it's, it's phenomenal that even, uh, Kingsley, when man fell, yeah. God still spoke to man. He still asks, where are thou? Where are thou? Because the Bible says subsequently that I will never leave you nor forsake you. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So he came and he spoke, and man still heard. Hmm. Because if God, if you, if, you, if, you, if you commit a sin or you fall out from, in quote, grace, who will rescue you? Yeah. <laughs> it is the same God. <laughs> it is the same God that will rescue you. <laughs> so, so God spoke to man, and man heard. Hmm. So don't think that because you have committed a sin or you have done what is wrong in the sight of God, that your, your spiritual ears are now deaf. Mm. That you can no longer... You can yeah. still hear him. Obviously, sure. And when you answer him, he can still mm. rescue you. He can still redeem you. I mean, it's, it's all true there. God, 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 you know, God, God, God demonstrated dynamic love yeah. in the garden. Mm. You don't need to go far. Genesis chapter 1, the purpose was there. And you see, God does not waste his purpose. Sure. The man was there. And even though the man had to face the punishment, because anything that proceeded out of the mouth of God must be accomplished. Look Anything that proceeds from the mouth of God. So God had already said, if you chop from this fr uh, fruit, if you chop from this tree, these are the consequences. So when man ate from the fruit, he had to face the consequences. Yeah. But God had a plan, which was already there, which he had already spoken out. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so that plan has to still work. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Hallelujah. Please Praise talk Lord. to me. You know, you know um, it's, it's, it's amazing because God at some point had to now create, get a people for himself. That's how... The children of Israel came into, 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 mm. into the picture mm. through Abraham. Do you understand? Mm. And God said, um, in you shall all the family of the earth be blessed. Be blessed. blessed. Oh. And the children of Israel, God gave them laws and commandments. Mm -hmm. And had gave them the opportunities to offer sacrifices for mm -hmm. the atonement of their sin. But mm -hmm. still it was not still enough. Mm -hmm. The children of Israel, you know, it, it amazes me. Some of us did not see the kind of miracle the children of Israel saw. How can, you, how can you pass through the Red Sea and not believe God? Can you imagine in our present day, God takes you to the Red Sea. What, which of that, which of that <laughs> God, God do you want to hear again? They had so, I think, fantastic <laughs> testimonies, but still yet, their hearts were hardened because the, the way they, had, the way they were, their makeup was not... They, they, as, you know, let, let me just take you... There's, there's, um, uh, if, if, let me take you to Hosea, 
Mm -hmm. particular incident in Hosea, uh, mm -hmm. Hosea chapter 3, mm -hmm. verse 1 to 5, it was um, mm -hmm. uh, a picture created, it was like a, um, a prophetic picture created by Hosea. God, God telling Hosea, go back and take back your harlot wife and mm -hmm. pay so and so much for this woman mm -hmm. and take her back, even though she has committed snow. Mm -hmm. So God was trying to describe what he, he was going to do with the children of Israel. And okay, let me, there's a, a, a verse of the show that, that interests me. So it's, it's, it's chapter 2. He said, so I, I, brought, I brought her, now, Hosea is talking, yeah. I brought her to me for 15 pieces of silver and for an homer of Bailey and, and half, uh, whatever. So said, it, 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 uh, verse 3 said, and I said unto her, thou shalt abide me for many days, thou shalt not play the harlot, and thou shalt not be for another oh, man. Yeah. So I would say, this was like a picture of God talking to the children of Israel. Yeah, I know you've gone astray. But come back to me. I, I'm ready to, you know, in, in, in the New Testament, Jesus was, was referring to when a man, it was, it, was, it was like, it was saying the kingdom of God is like unto a man who, who discovers a treasure in a field and he goes to sell all that he has to buy that because of that treasure. That, yeah. So the treasure in the end, in the, in the, in the, in the, at the end of the story, it's just all about the church, mm -hmm. which comprises the Gentiles mm -hmm. and the children of Israel who become born again through Christ mm -hmm. because Jesus, Jesus now became the second Adam and the last Adam that brought mm -hmm. salvation. Now, God, 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 you can imagine God having that. It was a grand plan in, 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 in God's calendar that even the Satan did not know about. Yeah. So it, yeah. took, it took God many years to effect this grand plan. And, and I'm like, so God had this plan all in his heart, kept it in his heart. The devil didn't even know about it. The devil, mm -hmm. prophet, there were many prophets that talked about the church coming to exist. Mm -hmm. They didn't even have an idea mm -hmm. of what the church was all about. So the church is like the, that precious, um, uh, yeah. that precious, um, what's um, it called? Yeah. Um, Precious, precious, um, um, what, what, what I call it, that, that precious, precious um, uh, treasure, treasure that was in that field. Yeah, yeah. So Jesus, God, Jesus had to buy the whole field, which was the whole world, wow. to own the treasure, which wow. is the church. And so it's a, it's, a, it's a compilation of those that, of that became born again, who were Gentiles, and the children of Israel, who so we are the church. Christ. We are the yes. church right now. We, we are God's, God's treasure. We are God's treasure. Wow. Wow. So that's love, as in, can you imagine a God in his, in his infinite, in his sovereignty, having that extent of desire, to own if see everything is about family, as the Christ has always, always taught us. Everything is about family. Mm. Even the reign of Jesus Christ on earth is about family. Mm. God just wants to have man at all costs. Mm. That's the same thing they were also once. They also want to have man at all costs. That's why there is a struggle between <laughs> the but, light and darkness. But, but the devil did not create man at all. <laughs> God created man. Yeah. He has an investment in man. Yes. And so because you are his investment, because you are his great treasure. Yeah. Yeah. He will go the extra, extra length. Yes. Yeah. To keep you. To keep you. Come here. So the thing is, okay, so after, after um, just um, in, in line with what he was saying about how we are God's, you know, like important treasure, yeah. why, you know, actually God sent his son to die for us so yeah. that he can totally redeem us. It's really, something really um, came across my mind. I find it, you know, very interesting that before Jesus Christ finally came to die, yeah. A lot of events has been happening, and you see people falling, and all. It's like God giving man the opportunity to just, you know, try mm. and do these things yourself mm. and see, mm. so that we can finally appreciate mm. the fact that, mm. you know, like you know, when you've been trying to do stuff on your own mm. and it keeps failing, 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 and failing, mm. and then Jesus Christ comes and is like the ultimate, you know, makes mm. everything look easy. Mm. So if if you if if it is like the question is okay, so after man fell, Adam, why didn't God just come sh show up with Jesus Christ and say, okay, let me just cover this thing up, up, sharp, no, sharp, no, yeah. down now? No, he didn't do that. He allowed man to, you know, because men we were like, you know, how the kind of being we were, our eyes were open as it were, yeah. and everybody started, all men started trying to explore. We see stories in the Bible and all, and then God allowed us to do so that when Jesus Christ finally, finally comes, we appreciate it and we're going to see the sacrifice that, that um, Jesus Christ made. So, uh, man as it were, we are worth the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, mm. wow. so, Say that again. Man? <laughs> man, we, our worth is the blood of Jesus wow. Christ. That's, that's the price it takes wow. to, to buy. So, it, it's a matter of, you know, this kind of, you know when children start working, when they start learning how to walk, their parents will always run to them to help them, to assist them and all. So that was what, that was in, 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 in a way, that was what Christ was, um, Jesus, God as it was trying to do. You know, leave us, let so, us just try to figure it out. And finally, he, he comes and it looks like as if, well, in the first place, you really didn't need to have to worry yourself about these things before. Wow. I created you. And I, was, I, always, I always had a plan, the final plan to know that as soon as, you know, you realize that, yes, the fact that I created you and all, wow. everything becomes easy and all. Fantastic. So, so I am God's greatest treasure. Tell you. God has invested so much in me. Mm. He will do all he will to ensure that I am in the beloved. Yeah. I mean, all true scripture, if, if we take it, I mean, if we want to do Bible, Bible study, sharp Bible study like quiz now, from Genesis chapter 2, Adam fell. God tried to, God, Adam and Eve fell. Yeah. God provided a solution to rescue them. He made um, 
he made um, um, leather jackets for yeah, them, yeah. sent them out of the garden, but his eyes were still on them. Correct. Cain committed murder in Genesis yeah. chapter 4. What did God do? He put a mark on him yeah. and he said, nobody should touch this one. Yeah, yeah. And Cain left. Then Genesis chapter 6, what happened? Noah came. I mean, the inhabitants of the earth had become so wicked and all that. What did God do? He rescued eight of them yeah. and put them, you know, to, the to replenish the earth yeah. so that a new breed will come mm -hmm. up. Then Abraham's time and came and a lot of them fell again and then he still tried to continue the lineage with Isaac and then on. They went to Israel. What happened again? He rescued the children of Israel from Egypt and they messed up in the, in the, in the wilderness, in the wilderness yeah, yeah. and he wiped up a generation on them mm. but he still preserved Joshua and Caleb yeah. and preserved their generation. He moved them on onto Obed and on, onto Jesse and he moved them on onto David and David messed up. Solomon messed up but he still preserved from there. He continued along the line and then the, 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 the prophets came. Him. Isaiah came. Jeremiah came with his lamentations yeah. again. And then what do you have? Ezekiel came. Yeah. And all they said is God will rescue you. God, his word will now be written in your heart. Yeah. And then the journey continued. And he went into Hosea that you read. Yeah. He went into Daniel that you read. He still had a preservation of people all the time. He went on to Zechariah, Habakkuk, mm. Nahum, yeah. um, 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 what was this guy that went to Nineveh? Yeah, okay, um, Jonah. 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 There was still a preservation. Yeah. So God is always willing to preserve. He's not quick to want to punish. Yeah. He's always wanting to, to preserve. Yeah. I mean, who was the greatest um, uh, proponent of evil against the church? It was Saul. Saul yeah. And what did he do to Saul? He said, this one that is fighting against me, we use all of this energy yeah. to work for me. Yeah, yeah. He rescued Saul. Mm. And Saul became Paul and wrote more than half of the New Testament. Mm. And the gospel continued to propagate. Who was Peter? Peter was doing fishing. Mm. And later, what did he do? He started to cut people's ears. Yeah. And God still rescued him yeah. and said, you will work for him. And Jesus came, Jesus came to die for us mm. and rescue us and bring us back yeah. into him. You know what? what I would tell people, you know, a lot of people, a lot of Christians today still struggle with, a lot, with, with this Christian life, trying to also live the Old Testament, which has been fulfilled in Christ. The Old Testament has been fulfilled in Christ. So, oh, yeah. you know, did man could not even fulfill the law. Jesus fulfilled the law. And in, in 2 Corinthians 25, verse 17, he said, he said, if any man be in Christ, he's which in means, if, if, if he said, if any man be in Christ, which means Christ is a place. Oh, if any man has come into Christ, he's a new creature. All wow. things... Which means you never existed. Wow. True. Your physical face may wow. still be the same, everything. But you never there was nothing about you see, in the spiritual realm in Interest, heaven, there's no record, no record of, of your existence. Of which your means past. everything, you know, there was a time when deliverance ministry was very was very was was key in, in Nigeria around the world. Okay. So a certain level of knowledge. But God has God has helped us. We have grown to understand that when you come into Christ, wow. everything has changed. Wow. So what you just have to do now is to appreciate the ministry of the world. I appreciate the meaning of mystery of the word Hallelujah. and just and let the word work for you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> let, me, let me round up because of time. Yeah. I mean, we, we, um, our midweek services are 30 minutes. Yeah. I want to use Second Corinthians 5, 17 Something, that you yeah. used. Yeah. You say, what well, if any man be, be in Christ, Christ yes. therefore Christ is a place. A place now, yes. the scenario that came into, into me now yeah. is like, um, you are outside yeah. and you come into a house and you shut the door, the door. and the rain is falling outside. Yeah. When you are inside the house, does the rain still beat you? No, sir. <laughs> does, does the pandemonium outside affect you when you're inside the house? No, sir. No. So when you are inside yeah. Christ, all the pandemonium outside, you are locked yeah, out from it. Yeah. It's a new creature yeah, now. You are a new being now. Yes, yes. Everything. You are shielded away yes. from the pandemonium that is outside. Correct, correct. Child of God, this evening, before we round up this, um, this discussion this evening, Somebody wants to come into Christ, into that place that is shielded from pandemonium. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That place that is shielded from the, the vicissitudes yeah. of this world, of this life, the challenges of this life. Somebody wants to come into a place where God's love will be poured out to you afresh. Mm. It's very simple. If you say this prayer after me, if you are not in Christ yet, and you want to enjoy the fullness of Christ, the benefits of Christ, mm. say this simple prayer after me in the next 15 seconds, and then your life will be transformed. Just Hallelujah. say after me, closing your eyes and putting your hands on your chest. Say, Lord Jesus, Hallelujah. I believe that you came to die for me. I receive you and I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Wipe away my sins and give me a future that you originally intended for me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Simple prayer, you are now born again. There is a number on your screen. It's our counseling line. Call that number and somebody will be willing to tell you what to do next and how to go about this new faith and this new relationship with God and how to begin to enjoy the goodness of God. Everything truly has changed for you. Hallelujah. Everything has changed. Please, um, we want to appreciate our partners, all our partners who have been giving 
um, onto the work and supporting the work. This evening, I want to ask you to please kindly give your tithes and give your offering to the account numbers which are scrolling on your screen, and God will richly bless you. Join us again on Sunday by 9 a.m. and next Wednesday by 6 p.m. for another time of worship and of fellowship here. Everything has truly changed for you. Hallelujah. Come here, can you help us, or you want to do something else? Yeah. Okay, let's, let's, let's have you. Hallelujah. God is blessed. Hallelujah. Jesus, the Son of God, Hallelujah. I believe in you. I believe in you, Jesus, the Son of God, I believe in you, I believe in you, Jesus, the Son of God, I believe Change. I'm a new man. Everything is changed. Oh, everything is changed. Oh, everything is changed. Everything is changed. Everything is changed. May these words richly bless you and enrich you, and your life is transformed. Everything changes for you from this day forward. And you have testimonies to declare and testimonies to share. Share your testimonies with us as God begins to answer your prayers and does everything for you. Glory be to God Almighty. Because nothing is the same.